Hi everybody and welcome back. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Today I'm going to show you a kind of a, a bit of a strange tip. Um, it's to do with the bow. If you're having trouble, when you're learning to hold the bow, um, and if you're an adult, um, a child, any type of beginner, if you're having trouble holding the bow and you're not sure where to always hold the bow, some people tend to hold it on the kind of black ferrule or on the silver bit or on the frog. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. So if you're not actually sure, what you want to get yourself is some of these corn plasters. So um, it's a bit of a random thing to buy. I personally don't have corns, um, but these corn plasters are really, really good to buy. And they're perfectly shaped because they're sort of little kind of um, little sticky back felt things um, which actually have a hole in the middle. So I suppose it's they're roughly the size of a, a polo, a mint polo, maybe just a tiny bit bigger. Um, and you all know, or you should all know, that you where you put your thumb is the little bit of wood between the frog and between the ferrule. So this area here is where you want to be putting your, your thumb. So not on here, not on here, but you want to be putting it on that little bit of wood there. So get yourself a corn plaster. So these are the corn, these are what the corn plasters look like here is pick yourself off a corn plaster and place it over the place where you would put the bow, so where you put your thumb. So the hole of the corn plaster goes in the bit in the middle between the frog and the, the, the kind of the, the leather part of the ferrule. So the hole should be right in the middle of sort of that, that bit there. If I turn the bow over the other way, you can see that the hole is pretty much there. So the hole is not there, the hole is not there, the hole is going to be there. And then when you go to put your thumb in, that you're going to be putting your thumb in like that, and then you can grip the bow as you normally would. So it just gives you an idea of where you need to put your thumb. And then you can wrap the corn plaster around if, if you like, it's completely up to you. I'm not gonna do that on my bow because I'm going to take it off. So that's it really, just like a little quick DIY tip so you know exactly where the, the correct place that you need to put your thumb in. Once you've got the corn plaster there, you can easily remove it. It doesn't cause any damage to the, the bow. They are actually quite sticky as I've just found out. So just make sure that you place the hole in the right place to start with. Once you've done that, you can always put your thumb into the hole of the corn plaster and then continue to put, put your fingers around the rest of the bow. And sometimes it just gives you an easier grip as well so it's much easier to keep the thumb bent as well than kind of having the thumb arch so much so there we go just a quick tip there i hope you enjoyed that don't forget to check out my other videos subscribe tweet share all that kind of good stuff and i shall see you in the next video